most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. 70s are disappearing as temperatures start to cool for the evening, already down to 67, 68 degrees, even 64 in Stumpy Point. Meanwhile, we're at 71 in Windsor, our warmest spot on the map. And kind of like last night, temperatures going to fall really quick initially and then kind of slow down through the rest of the evening. So by the time most of us head to bed, temperatures expected to be as low as the mid 50s. But notice the coastline doesn't cool off quite as quick. So while we may wake up near or into the 40s once again inland, maybe not quite as cool. If you're in places like Oriental Beaufort over towards Hatteras, Manio may be the exception. They may slide down into the upper 50s before temperatures start to warm. I think everybody makes it into the 70s tomorrow. Some of us may be a couple degrees away from 80 degrees. We kind of stair step our way out of the cooler, colder air that we've had Sunday and Monday. Nothing too warm, but by the weekend we do start to get back into the 80s and could even maybe see close to some 80s before then. Like Saturday, Sunday will be our transition day where we get a cold front and then another round of cool air with highs maybe in the 60s Monday and Tuesday, depending on cloud cover and maybe some small rain chances early next week. Kind of depends on the flow of our atmosphere as we head through the weekend. Right now we may see a couple sprinkles tonight and tomorrow as well as to what's left of this disturbance passes by most of the rain north of the state line. So not really expecting anything for this evening and really no cloud cover either as we watch the sunset there over Washington and really technically Chaco since they're on the other side of the river, but still seeing the sun go down and a nice evening with temperatures expected to cool off pretty quick and winds relaxing, not quite as breezy as they were earlier, but still out of the south southwest. And that's important. Those southerly winds have really been kind of dictating our temperatures today. Despite the cold start this morning, we warmed up almost 40 or 30 degrees in some spots. And so even though we will cool through the rest of the evening, those southerly winds keep those along the coast probably more in the 60s rather than the 50s. Now we usually talk about the tropics, but we don't usually dabble into the Pacific because those systems really, really, rarely ever develop and move our direction. But we do have Max and Lydia, and that's important because even though they are expected to weaken as they make land fall in Mexico. All that tropical moisture is going to kind of team up with another little disturbance in the Atlantic that we're watching and there's a lot of wind shear. So the chances of this developing into a full fledged tropical system, not very high, but that moisture still has to go somewhere that gets pushed on shore and maybe a big rainmaker for places south of us down into South Carolina, Georgia, Florida for us. Maybe a few showers, some light rain creeping up as far as Newburgh, but definitely the Crystal Coast, Onslow County have the best chance to pick up some rain while the rest of us the rest of us probably just see some cloud cover and this system is going to be very quick. I think by the afternoon, the evening hours, we're already seeing skies clear. That's going to set things up very nicely for football before maybe a better chance of rain for everyone as we head through the weekend as we get another cold front. So if you're seeing the rain chances for Thursday and you've already canceled your plans to go to the game, I'd, re I'd replan them because I think skies will be pretty clear unless the forecast makes a big shift with that system going further to the north. Better chance of rain for Mumfest on Saturday, but again, light rain. Maybe not around all day. We'll watch that timing a little bit closer. A few more days out, so still some uncertainty with the timing and just how much rain we may get on Saturday. But it does look like Sunday should be drier, a little more comfortable too, though uh, Saturday doesn't look too bad. Highs around 80. Yeah, and you pointed out that you've been right about not canceling plans, mm -hmm. right? I did something on Saturday. I brought an umbrella. Eventually it stopped raining. There's always time to do things, especially when rain chances yeah. are light and kind of spotty. Usually the rain doesn't impact things for too long. And then they can't blame you mm -hmm. when they, they cancel their still, plans. They still might <laughs> probably blame me. Okay, maybe. All right, thanks, Zach.